Welcome back to this channel for actuarial exam problem solutions. You can find this channel using um, a smart URL.it redirect service that I use uh, by going to smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. And using the same service, you can find me as Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is pass online seminars that I run as online actuary and my manuals um, as my Polish nickname, Krzysztof, with P for P, FM, MLC, and MFE. And if you would like to find out about actuarial program at Illinois State University, uh, then um, it's actuary. And if you would like to help our students to fund their scholarships or help uh, to pay for their exam expenses or things like that, uh, you can go to Help ISU Actuary. Here's a problem from uh, recent, relatively recent, spring 2017 uh, exam MLC. Problem number one from multiple choice section. It will be posted as a video as when I finish this at uh, smarturl.it forward slash MLC dash spring 2017 dash MC dash one. In this problem, you are given the following extract from a triple decrement table. And you have two ages, X is 40 and then 41. At age 40, there's 15,000 um, people in the population. And there are observed probabilities of dying. So remember, these are the observed, the, the number of people we see leaving the group due to these decrements, 1, 2, and 3, as opposed to the ideal world in which people die from only one decrement, which is one of the topics on the exam. I call this the Achilles world, because Achilles could only die um, from only one cause, and that's the only really famous person who is known uh, for that. That's why I use that expression. But anyway, it's not in this problem, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but um, the probability of dying from cause 1 in the first year is 0.01, or 1%, from cause 2, or decrement 2, is 0.04, or 4%, and from cause 3, or decrement 3, is 5% of 0.05. We don't know the initial size of the population at age 41. It's not given, but we will be able to figure it out because we know how many people leave the population based on these percentages, the probabilities of dying, and the observed probabilities of dying. And then in the second year, the observed probabilities of dying are 0 0.04, 0 0.08, and 0.10. But after this table was prepared, you discovered that um, Q41 should have been 0 0.02, not 0 0.01 as it is now, and that all other numerical values shown above are correct. Calculate the resultant change in D41 number 3. So let's look at the calculations in the first year. At age 40, we have 15,000 people, 1% of them, or 150, die from cause 1, decrement 1. 4% of them, or 600, die from cause 2, or decrement 2. And 5% of them, or 750, die from cause 3, or decrement 3. So the total number of people whom we see as leaving the group uh, is what? Um, 150 plus 600, that's 750, plus 750, again, the total is 1,500 out of 15,000, so 13,500 13, are left. And we know from the data for the second year that decrement 3, or cause 3, causes 10% of them to leave. 10% of 13,500 is 1,350. That's the initial estimate before this discovery of a need for a correction. And this is what you get after the correction. So for the first year, the only thing that changes is that decrement 1 eliminates 300 instead of 150. And otherwise, we also have 600 and 750 as before. So the population size at the end of the first year, age 40, 
and the beginning of the second year, age 41, is now 13,350. 150 less than before. And 10% of them are observed to have died or left due to cause 3, so that's 1,335. That was originally estimated as 1,350, now it's estimated as 1,335. That's a decrease of 15, and that's answer B. Please remember that this is copyright material. Also, please remember that um, old problems from actuarial exams uh, belong to the societies that created them, so this is a problem from an old society of actuaries examination. No, well, not that old, just a couple of months ago. Good luck in your studies and on your exams.